हेलो एवरीवन दिस क्वेश्चन वाज वंस आस्क टू मी ड्यूरिंग ए वी इंटरव्यू आई वाज गिवन दिस थ्री वेब फॉर्म्स फर्स्ट वन इज द क्लॉक देन सेकंड वन दिस इनपुट एंड थर्ड वन इज दिस आउटपुट एंड आई वाज आस्क टू ड्रॉ द लॉजिक डायग्राम फॉर दिस वन ओके so what is happening here see this is the clock this is the input so at the output what we are getting the extension version of this input see here this is the width of width of the input signal till this one then we are extending the same input here right for this first clock period then second clock period so here we are extending the input signal for another two clock period and we have to draw the logic diagram for this one this question was asked okay so how to do this one we all know that this registers registers are used to delay a signal always remember if they ask you during a interview that how to delay a signal then simply you tell them if this is a input and if you want to delay this signal then simply use a register and registers are nothing but combination of flip flops okay for example ciso serial in and serial out so here i have four flip flops it can be 3 it can be 2 it can be 5 depending on the requirement okay so i have four flip flop here and this is the input let's say this is the one after first clock i will get one here after second clock pulse i will get one here after third clock pulse i will get one here after four clock pulse i will get this input this one this one at the output so it will take four clock period to get the same input at the output that means we are simply delaying here okay this one this one logic is being delayed by all these flip flops okay so if you want to delay your wave form by one clock period then you use one flip flop if you want to delay your signal for two clock period then you use two flip flop if you want to delay your signal for three clock period then you use three flip flop okay in our case what we have to do this is the clock this is the input if you pass this one to a flip flop let's say this is a d flip flop then after the first clock see here the in th at this clock what is happening we are sampling the data right we are sampling the input so after the first clock that means after this one this clock we will get the input same input at the output side so after first clock that means at the start of this clock we will get this output okay the same input whatever input we have that will be reflected at the output side then after the second clock that means this is the first clock then this is the second clock that means at the start of this one at the start of this one we will get so that means if we want if we pass this signal to a flip flop at the output what we will get the same input but after second clock pulse see this one so this is my first clock after first clock and this is after the second clock okay so what we have to do here this is my input this is the input right that means this one then you pass this input to a flip flop then we will get this one after this first clock this is the first clock then you pass this signal to another flip flop then this second up the second uh, clock at second clock we will get this output then what we have to do here see if we add this one add in the sense here or okay if you want to add this one 100 if we or this three signal then what we will get 100 we will get one here 010 if we or this one we will get one here 001 if we or this one we will get one here see input we have this input now the same input is extended one right so this input has been extended 
see this one then this one for two clock period so if we pass this waveform this square waveform to a OR gate then what we'll get at the output is this one okay so hope you understood this one so what is the logic diagram final logic diagram is this one this is the final logic diagram okay so this is your input then that's that means this is the input then here what we will get it will be delayed right delayed version of this one we will get this one then here what we will get we will get this one again this one will be delayed so we have two flip flops so this signal will be delayed for two clock pulses and if we add all these three with the help of a OR gate then what we will get this is our input first input then this will be extended for two clock period so this is the this is our uh, requirement okay so if they ask you then you extend this one for three clock period then what you have to do you add another clock sorry another flip flop if they will ask you extend this one for another clock period then you add another another flop and you add the output of this one you add all this signal with the help of a OR gate okay so this is the final uh, logic circuit I hope that you all understood this one still if if you have any query then you can ask me on the comment section and thank you so much for watching